Hey guys, we do a little 22 long rifle testing. I shot a steel match recently and uh, I've got a Ruger Mark IV and a Glock 44 and neither of them would run worth a damn. So uh, I'm gonna try a couple different uh, 22 loads uh, and at the end I got to uh, try a little burn down and see, uh, see which one will cycle anything. It's a little warmer here than it was, uh, warmer now than it was that day. So that could have been it, could have been some lube issues, but we'll find out today. All right, first mag is uh, the Federal uh, Lead Solid Point. So these were the ones that were not cycling well at uh, the last steel match. This is going to be testing the Ruger Mark III. Uh, haven't cleaned it, haven't done anything to it. I'm going to run it. Uh, so somebody said it might be too much lube on it from before because I lubed it before the match. So we're going to see if this is... Uh, if this will run as it is, and if not, I'm going to clean some of the lube off the bolt, see if that changes anything, or if it's just the ammo. Or what we're looking for here is this to cycle anything I put into it. Okay, it's not the end of the world, 9 out of 10, but it's still not great. So we're going to move on to, uh, this is miscellaneous um from my big bag of or big box of ammo this is just all uh copper plated so we'll see if it runs copper plated any better seems to run copper plated a little better moving on this is going to be uh all cci i'm not sure if they're mini mags because it came out of uh, a bulk bin but it's all CCI, we'll see if it'll run. CCI is all copper plated um, hollow points. And you can really get some trigger freeze going with this little quarter half inch trigger. All right, um, not terribly impressed with that. Let's give it another try. All right, one more I forgot to run. Uh, dirty. This is the federal like BYOB. I got like three buckets of this stuff, but it's I think it's 36 grains copper plated hollow point. So I'm hoping that will that this will be the one that'll cycle well because I need it to. That seems to be good. Okay, this is still dirty gun. Okay, next up is the. Uh, so I I didn't clean the gun, but I took most of the lube off because I had lubed up the bolt pretty good and one of them steel challenge guys told me yeah you get too much lube on the bolt so uh, now I'm gonna run everything again uh, with the, the lube pretty it's not dry but it's it's pretty dry and uh, have the uh, see how the ammo will cycle so so far I'm happy with what it's doing it may have been the cold the, the day that I had all the trouble at the uh, steel day was uh, was pretty cold out so it's about 47 50 degrees out right now so uh, we'll see how this baby goes. This first one is the Federal uh, Exposed Lead Soft Point. I think it's 40 grain. Go pipe. It seems to always take up on the first one. Hooked up on the first one last time too. Okay, this is the... Uh, let's go with this one first. We'll in the same order. This is the, most of it's Winchester Super X. There's some uh, other uh, copper plated hollow points in there too, but most of this is Winchester Super X, which is traditionally thought to be kind of shitty ammo. So, ran it great last time. Go pipe. Throw out another one. I think I hit push the safety up there on accident that time. But at least kicked out one or two rounds. So that didn't that didn't go well. That wasn't good. Um, the next one is the CCI. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the 30, 36 grain uh, hollow point. Might be mini mags, but I'd be surprised if I was dumb enough to put all my mini mags in with my bulk stuff. But you never know. Okay, seems to run the CCI great. Now here's the one I'm really concerned about. This is the uh, this is the one I have the most of, and it's all um, 
separate from everything else. I'm really hoping this will run well. This is the uh, 36 grain hollow point federal BYOB, I think is that is what it is. Didn't take the round. That could be a mag tuning issue though. I haven't tuned these mags. I read or saw a video about mag tuning. It might, might be helpful to us. So. All right, we're going to move on to, to the same thing, testing with the, the Glock 44. See how this little guy will do. It, it actually shot better at the steel match than the Ruger did. So I don't know if this is less affected by the cold or whatever. It's, it's a lot warmer today than it was that day. But uh, this is starting off with... Uh, and also, somebody told me when you're loading these mags when you're done, just take the pressure off and let the mag, or let the bullets in the mag uh, fall down because then they'll line up correctly to feed. So I did notice that sometimes on these, the, the bullet will face downward, the, the actual bullet of the cartridge will face downward, that first one. I think it doesn't, it doesn't feed right. Uh, this, to begin with, is the uh, Federal BYOB bulk pack. It's just hopefully the good stuff. Let's see how this one does. Happy to see that run well. Okay, next up, this is the uh, Winchester Super X. This is just the, the stuff I have in the bulk pack of the stuff I just put all into a bucket. And whatever 22 I get, that's what I run. So, let's see how this one does. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay, let me, I'll be right back. So you all be right back. All right, back to it. I got Aurora picking up brass for me, so she was hollering to, uh, for me to come check her bag. Every bag she brings me, she gets a dollar. I give her a Crown Royal bag to pick it up in. All right, so far that's working pretty good. It's keeping the bullet kind of where I need it. So, so far so good. We'll see how this is the, uh, the Federal. I got a lot of this stuff too. Federal, uh, Round nose, soft point, exposed lead. So generally, this one runs pretty easy. She's concerned about how many bags she has to do. She doesn't have to do any, but money's money, I guess. All right, federal, soft grain, soft point, exposed lead. I need your plug to fill up my ear again, so I don't go to death. Probably edit this out. Just edit edit it with the the idea there. Okay, so earplug taking shape. While we're waiting, also I have in here a I just put a Gen 5 trigger in here. So uh, I was reading online, and I guess the uh, the part of the trigger bar that pushes up on the uh, internal safety is a little different. But so far I see no difference in the trigger. So and it is shaped a little different. I looked at them, but whatever it works. Probably blow up my hands because I hear him talking about it. That cycled all the way through. Alright, I think I got one more mag, and I think it's just another mag of the, uh, the good stuff. Let's see how that goes. More of the BYOB bulk pack. Ah, light strike. a good strike nothing wrong with that but 22 being what it is don't blame the gun for that one okay so it looks like the Glock 44 having had only one malfunction throughout all that ammo uh, you know for all the naysayers about the Glock 44 it's running better than the Ruger is right now I haven't done I mean like I remember what I did something to the Ruger in there. Oh, I put in that the, the the striker that's supposed to be or the ham whatever the the striker that's supposed to you know hit it harder or be better or more reliable. Uh, I have a aftermarket of old and extractor. I haven't put that in yet, and the old quartz and trigger. I think the trigger actually gets me a little hang up sometimes because it's so so light that like I'm not really letting it reset all the way. All right, last thing we're gonna do just sort of like a burn down uh, with the 44 and then with the Ruger. Um, we're going to start with the, uh, 
Federal Bulk Pack BYOB. Two mags of that, then two mags of the uh, Federal Soft Points. Let's see, because that's what I have the most of. Let's see how many, or if we get any failures. Uh, we're at seven yards again. I'm just going to do this as fast as I can. Definitely feel the difference between those two, but it ran everything, so I can't ask for much more than that. The, uh, the lead soft point was certainly lighter recoiling. It cycled, but yeah. All right, same thing with the Ruger Mark IV. Need a little, little bit of a burn down here. This is the Federal Bulk Pack BYOB um, copper. And two mags of that, two mags of the uh, soft exposed lead, so we'll see how this baby does. Well, it definitely does not like the, uh, likes a little bit of a hotter load. Uh, I think that that comp on the end of that, that's the tandem cross pro something or other comp. But uh, I think that uh, that copper is just a little bit hotter um, and it, it ate that right up. And the, the other one cycled just fine, but it's definitely lighter and I could feel it kind of, yeah, it's just not liking it as much. All right, we're all finished up at the range. Um, as you saw, both 22s ran great today. So I think it must have been the cold that was causing all the uh, malfunctions last time. But that's how much I couldn't, I couldn't get through, uh, you know, five strings without. Yeah, maybe have one string out of five where I didn't have a, a malfunction or something. So such as a life of 22, I guess. Uh, I'm glad to see the Mark IV running a little bit better. The Glock 44 is still, still outrunning that thing. Is at least in my hands anyway. Um, 44, the Mark IVs way easier to shoot I mean 22 is not hard to shoot either way but uh, yeah the mark 4 when it's it's running right is is running good so we'll see how that goes going into shooting a little more steel this year um, 